Hashem, Rakak, Wadash. That's all praise to the Most High in the name of His only begotten Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. My name is Abar from the Prophets of Babylon, camping down here in Tampa, Florida. And hey, man, as you see on the screen, we are definitely in the year of the turn up. Okay, a lot of judgment is going out. A lot of people are dropping dead. A lot of people are, you know, cat, cat, a catching judgment, man. All right. The, the, the Lord is showing his spirit throughout this earth. And this is why the prophets have been out there on the streets warning you and, and proclaiming to you people to, you know, seek the most high, to repent, to, come, to, to, to turn from your evil ways, you know. All hell is about to break loose. All hell is about to break loose. And this is going to be every day where you're going to be, you know, you may be, you know, driving to work. And when you have your kids in the car, you know, you know, you may be driving to, to the grocery store, leaving the grocery store. And you're going to see people, you know, having, you know, uh, incidents, you know, and you may even get caught in these situations or, you know, in the crossfires. We are in a time of spiritual war, okay? And the spiritual war is turning physical. First, everything happens in the, in the spiritual. Then, then everything becomes physical. So what's happening is these people have demons on them, all right? And the demons are beginning to manifest. And you're going to see people doing a lot of outlandish, crazy stuff, you see? This man pulled out his gun and started shooting at a car driving down the street. You know, in broad daylight on a busy road, you know, just, you know, shooting aimlessly. You know, that's, you know, it's just, it just doesn't make any sense. You see, you was, you don't, you don't really kill the person. You was right there in front of him, you know, but you shooting down a minute down the street, putting um, all types of other people's lives at, at risk. And, you know, you know, how, uh, you know, these these bullets may have, you know, strayed and hit uh, uh, other individuals, man, causing judgment. This is why you pose to seek the Lord, man. All right. Now, let's grab some scriptures. This is second Ezra chapter 15, verse 14. Woe, which means destruction and misery to the world and to them that dwell therein. I mean, you, you, you people that's in this world that have not. You know, sought this truth that have not sought Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. These people that have, you know, no idea what the hell is really going on. Just death, misery, and destruction is coming coming to you, man. Okay. For the sword and their destruction draweth nigh. The sword is a, is a weapon of destruction. Okay. So what the sword does is the sword is going to bring um, all, <laughs> great calamity to, 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 your, to your households, man. You know, you didn't seek the Lord. So now you're going to be left out there to fend for yourselves. Speaking to you Israelites, man. It says, for the sword and their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up to fight against another with swords in their hands. And the modern day sword is what? The gun. So you're going to see this all around you. People just, you know, clashing and, you know, swords in their hands, you know, shooting, shooting at each other and, you know, shootouts popping off and, you know. And a good example of this is the movie uh, um, Bushwick. You know, it shows you a scene where the woman came out of the, um, the subway and it was just people, you know, just all types of scrummages, <laughs> you know, people shooting, you know, out, out of out of cars, people shooting out of buildings, people shooting in the middle of the street, people shooting at cops, all types of madness, man. It's going to be complete lawlessness out here. OK, America is collapsing. America Bay Babylon is falling. And, and as Babylon falls, it's going to be, you know, worse than a war zone out here, man. Verse 16. For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. What's this? Invading one another. People ain't going to care about, you know, personal space, man. They ain't going to care about the, 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 uh, the, um, the, the, the cops being called. This guy didn't care. Wasn't thinking about the cop. As he's shooting, at, 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 after the second shot, you, you know, <laughs> down, you know, the damn middle of Main Street. You should have been thinking, okay, wait a minute, the cops <laughs> on the way. But this man did not regard that. You know, he doesn't. Care, he's not caring about that. 
And pretty soon, there is going to be no cops, man. So like, it's going to be everybody for themselves. It says, for there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. And the course of their actions shall stand in their power. They're going to be doing what they want to do. People are going to be doing whatever they want to do. Whatever they want to take, they're going to take. Whatever they want to kill, they're going to kill. Whatever they want to steal, they're going to steal. Whatever they want to, you know, rape, they're going to, yeah. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be, gonna be like that, man. This is why we, we, you know, you need protection. This is why you need Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. This is why it was so, um, you know, important to seek the Lord as we have been proclaiming to you for all these years. You know, through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, started when the elders and apostles of Great Millstone on down, man. <laughs> you people have been warned. Okay. Now it's going to be like a complete purge out here. You know, and the people, the person that's sitting the next to her, you know, filming. You know, was doing this in the spirit so we can get this video for edification. So lucky, man. These damn bodies. But they're doing this so we can get this video for ed edification. But at the end of the day, it's going to come a time where that man, you know, where, where you know, guns are going to get turned and, and people like this are going to be getting killed too. You know, with all types of bystanders. <laughs> Judgment is going to be going out, man. It says, um, verse 17, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled and the houses shall be destroyed. And hey, you see how this man, you know, because of his pride and arrogancy, whatever he was angry about, it was so important to him that he, you know, not only seeking to end this man's life or whoever this is in his car, but his own life. So like, and other lives around them, okay. It says, um, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, and the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid, and men shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but have but shall destroy their houses with the sword, with, with the 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 the, the, uh, the modern day gun. You know, people gonna start. You know, they ain't gonna they ain't gonna care about uh you know the old lady down the road. They ain't gonna care about the women with. You know, the, the single mom with, you know, three children, man. You know, they're not going to care, man. They're going to be doing whatever they want to do, taking whatever they want to take, you know. And honestly, the more, the um, how, how you say it, the, the more vulnerable, the more, um, the weaker the person is going to be the easier, you know, the, the more convenient to get. So that's going to be the, the, the person that's going to be, you know. So you do the math, you see, it's going to be complete, you know, it says, um, verse 19. And a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with a sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. And, you know, that, you know, to no, spoil those goods mean anything you have, you know, anything that's, you know, that, that you may have that, 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 that is like a good that you may need. Example, you know, is this man's car, <laughs> you know, he was trying to spoil this man's car. You trying to, you know, and he, even so much as take his life, you know, you already know he was, he was, he, he was aiming for the, um, the damn steering wheel. Okay. And, and, and aiming for the, uh, the uh, headrest on, on the back of that seat. Because this is the spirit that's going out throughout this earth, man. Okay. A time of tribulation like never before is coming. Where it ain't going to be peaches and cream out here no more. It ain't going to be, you know, uh, um, 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 tiptoeing, tiptoeing through the tulips, man. It's going to be all hell breaking loose. Okay. And those of you that said no, you know, you're supposed to get, you know, tight with the Lord to where you should be, you know, praying to him 24-7, man. 24 7 right now so that when that day come he's not no stranger to hearing your your, your voice you know you got to use those names man. you got to be praying you got to you know it's not going to be easy man you know this thing is never told the lord never said it's going to be easy you know we have to get stronger you know so you got to keep praying you know stay in the spirit you know fighting continue to fight continue to fight a good fight of faith man all right because hey, we got nothing we got nothing else left 
okay? America's through. Okay, your jobs is gonna be going pretty soon. They about it is open. There's all these articles coming about about no food on the shelves. So people ain't gonna, gonna be just doing this about little traffic stuff. They're gonna be doing this about food in these stores, you know, because they're, they're hungry. They're gonna be going to you know, it's inside your doors, okay? Kicking in your door, okay? Putting people to death, man. <laughs> Great death and destruction is coming. It says um. Matthew chapter 24, verse 21. For then shall there be, shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time. No, nor ever shall be. Because right now we are in a time where people have more, you know, devices at hand, you know, and main devices, you know, weapons. Okay, a weapon. You can buy weapons off a line, man. You know, get them shipped to your house. Okay, so everybody has weapons, you know. This is why um, uh, America, especially, is such a, you know, a damn um, wicked place. Okay, it's such a, 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 a treacherous place because like you. everybody has a weapon. Okay, but in these other countries, you know, they, they don't allow that so much. Even though people still, you know, sneak them in, you know, but in America, everybody has, has weapons. So you got to imagine a complete total chaos and a slaughter and, you know, famine and starvation and whatnot. Whoever have who, the people that have these weapons are going to use these weapons, man. You know, and you're going to see these things. You be prepared to see more and more of this. OK, this is why, you know, me in particular, this is why I do these lessons, you know, touching on these topics, praying that they don't get taken down, you know, so that, you, you know, you, you know, this is prophecy. The Lord is telling you these times is coming, you know, keep a, keep your eyes open, you know, keep a, a, a keep your spirit alert. OK, because you don't want to get caught out here, lost and confused, confounded, not knowing what the hell is going on. You want to be in the spirit of, OK, you know, whatever I got to do to, you know, stand, you know, get close to your help. I'm going to do that. You know, that's the spirit supposed to be in. It says, for then shall there shall, shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world. To this time, no, nor ever shall be. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. That's why I feel like the days are speeding up. The time is getting short. Okay, because the Lord is shortening the days so that ultimately the elect can be saved, man. Because it's going to be a, a complete, you know, rampage out here, man. People are going to be losing their minds. People are going to be going crazy. It's going, you know, it's talking about starting to turn on these, um... What is it? I don't know. I'm just say it. It's talking about turning on these 5G towers. Okay. And, you know, yeah. I'm going to leave that at that. You know, so you know, yeah. So who knows, you know, what, 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 what tomorrow may bring, you know, a shit, you know, in, in the next hour or so, all hell could break loose, man. You know, you never know. You know, so stay prayed up, stay in the spirit. You know, seeking your help, Bashi Mel Shai. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go here real quick. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 12. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. And he that shall endure unto the end. The same shall be saved. So because what iniquity shall abound, which is all this sin. These people are, you know, America has promoted all this wickedness and all this sin to you people. And you people have indulged in it. And those spirits are on you. So, you know, it's going to cause you to do, you know, more, more evil and more, more wickedness. Okay. It says the love of many shall wax cold. People ain't going to care about each other no more. They're not going to uh, regard each other anymore. They're not going to think about this person. Does he have a, 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 a children? You know, you know how you see in movies all the time, you say, you say somebody folks about to get, you know, killed or as they about to get you get killed or, you know, they say, oh, please, no, I, I have kids or, you know, I have a wife I, or, you know, I have a family, you know, whatever. People are, people are not going to regard that anymore. You know, that's going to be the last thing they're going to be thinking about, you know, and, and that's just the times. The Lord is stirring these spirits up. So even when knowing this, you should be in a whole different spirit. All right.
With that being said, I'm gonna say Shalom though. Um, I don't wanna make this too long. Straight to the point. With that being said, I'm gonna, yeah, man, yeah. <laughs> Be prepared. All hell is about to break loose. You know, I'm exhausted, man. You know, we pray that these that that that, that all, this is this is hell does come sooner than later. <laughs> okay. Because, you know, the, the, age, the scripture says that Esau, uh, that, that they shall seek the wear out of the saints. Okay, we're getting worked, you know, like a damn dog. You know, you, and then the, the devil don't want to get your money on time. All types of hell and, 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 and wickedness going on, man. And really, you know, it's because these, you know, the, a lot of, you know, these devils really don't have it like that no more, man. You know, even supplies and equipment is not coming into America no more. This place has been destroyed. I just saw an article about the doomsday clock going down. You know, the, 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 they say the lowest has ever been 100 seconds, you know, since ever, you know, I, I believe, you know, so we coming into that time, man. All right, when everybody said, I'm going to say Shalom, I'm Kwame Shrala, Baba Ball.